Hey guys, I'm Minha Nazar and welcome back to my channel Shadows Mug, a complete art channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I drew this beautiful flower using watercolor cakes. Throughout the video, I'll be explaining how I drew this beautiful flower and if you are a beginner, this video is for you. So don't skip the video and without wasting much time, let's get started. I have used Dom's watercolor cakes which has 36 shades. It is really cheap and is available on Amazon. I have given the link in the description box. If you are interested, please check it out. Here in this artwork, I have used all these shades of blue for making that beautiful background and for the flower, I have used all these shades of pink. And for the leaves, I have used all these shades of green and some yellow from this. I am drawing the outline of the flower. Actually, I am drawing it really light and soft because watercolors are so transparent and I don't want any pencil marks to pop out at the end. There are different techniques in painting with watercolors like paint on dry surface, paint on wet surface and paint on combination of both wet and dry surface. I will be using all these techniques in this video. I am starting with the background and I am using paint on wet surface technique here. And as you see I am using a little bit of paint and so much of water so that I get a really transparent background and all my colors are blended well. Hey, if you are new to my channel, I would like to inform you that I will be posting videos on charcoal and graphite portrait works, acrylic paintings, watercolors, calligraphy and much more. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a video. And if you have any queries, please mention it in the comments below. So once my background is dried completely, I am starting with my subject. Now speaking about the subject, one thing we have to keep in mind is light values light values are very important in a painting all subjects have light values because no subject is flat and everything has a dimension so while painting i start with a lighter shade and i also leave some areas as white because i want those areas to be really highlighted my base layer with a lighter shade is dried completely, I move to the next step, adding a shade darker to it. I move to the final step that is adding the darkest shade for the edges and areas where I want the light values to be really low. Paint on dry surface technique. And now I am removing some excess paint from the background using a wet brush and tissue paper. my painting turned out. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned something useful from it. If so, please click the like button and if any of your friends are into art, don't forget to share it to them. They might find it really useful. Thanks for watching and thank you so much for all your support. See you soon in the next video. Until then, bye-bye, take care, have a nice day.